Knowles News! It's Knowles News! <clears throat> Aren't you saying about badgers? <laughs> heard you were fighting badgers. Where'd you hear that? Just heard it around the town. Who's talking about me around the town? It's like Mary Hanron. Mary fucking Hanron. <laughs> <laughs> of all the bitches. <laughs> By God, huh? You'd swear a gooseberry wouldn't melt in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, young fella, if there's one woman, uh, Mary Ann ran by, huh? Yeah. And her husband, fucking Tim, by Jay's. He bit more badgers <laughs> up and down the street. He had dogs fighting him, and yes, squirrel matches Jesse. It was wrong what went on. <laughs> Remember, he'd distort World Cup. <laughs> God, was wrong that went down there. <laughs> Hand her hands was a fair fucking spot for a couple of years there. That is Jesus fucking oh. roasting inside in here. Today. It's, it's very hot. Huh? What kind of a knocking shop are you running in here at all? It's very hot, yeah. It's roasting. I've been a news for you now before you're, if you're, if you're done talking gossip. I will bumblebees go down looking for... Um, now... A mayor in Mexico has been tied to a car and dragged around the streets. <laughs> I said I'd start you off nice and light. Oh, now, gosh. it wasn't the drug lads. I was telling you about the drug, the drug lads last week. <laughs> Greys are helping, and you know all them lads you be hanging out with. Smokey Fitzgerald. Maura, you might remember um, the video man. <laughs> yeah. Would you had back when you only had the two channels? Yeah. And they were both shite. <laughs> the video man to call around the house and you could rent a film oh yeah <clears throat> one time he gave us silence of the lambs not one fucking sheep in it <laughs> <laughs> I thought Hannibal Lecter was now a small farmer chipping away <laughs> nice and quiet <laughs> and I, I thought oh, okay maybe he's going to get a bit of bother from a dog <laughs> or, <laughs> or, you know but but overall I was not expecting Four or five lads to have their faces eaten by Anthony Hopkins. That <laughs> <laughs> was a bit of a shock. And I got Dermot Reservoir Dogs. He thought it was about the course in the Clamel. <laughs> <laughs> and as for transporting, well, it didn't about CIE. <laughs> it didn't set in Limerick Junction. I'll tell you that now. So the mayor in Mexico, right? He thought not to do the drug lads, this one. Lads bust into his office threw a few slaps, pulled him out into the street, tied him up with a rope, they tied him to the back of a truck. And now the pickup truck is commonly used in South America. It's kind of the Mexican Pajero, as they call it, right? They're not able to get a little Berlingo. Okay. So they pick up trucks. And they tied him up and drove off. And they pulled him down the street. Jesus. And he was going, whoa! <laughs> David off! Whoa! David off! Or, you know, the, the Spanish version of that. And uh, you'd think it'd be the drug rights, but it wasn't. Who was it? Who has more power than the drug lads? The Cops. avocado Cops. lads. Farmers. Oh. Yeah. With the farmers, right? Beware any man who drives in New Holland. Okay? <laughs> See them boys protesting about the climate. Mm. Beating a drum and painting their faces, right? You can bait them. Grand, you can give them a hiding. But 300 lads pull up outside in tractors. You can't bait them, right? Now the farmers in Mexico, the reason that they done this to the mayor is because he didn't fix the road. Whoa. Didn't fix the road, right? He was going for election and he said, I will fix the road. That's what he said, right? Mm -hmm. And he hadn't it done, so they pulled him kicking and screaming from his office and tied him to the back of a truck to drag him around town. It must have been some bad potholes. <laughs> <laughs> I have no issue with this, right? If you say you're going to fix the road, fix the road. We had a lad go for election <laughs> and he said he was going to help people get medical cards. He's in six months and I still have no medical card. Now, I'm not eligible, <laughs> but that's not the issue. And I tell you, that is the last time that I vote for the liar Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> that is four elections in a row that he has tricked me. <laughs> but my father voted for his father 
the bastard Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> and he wasn't much good either. <laughs> so the mayor, George Luis Escandion Hernandez, sounds like the ingredients of a curry, but no, <laughs> after being pulled up and down the streets, he's fine. No way. Yeah, now he, he is pressing charges. <laughs> And I said, tomorrow in his line to go and press a bit of tarmac, <laughs> or the farmers will be back. Back once again, like the renegade master, <laughs> as Father Dwyer used to always say. <laughs> so the police came and freed him off the back. But uh, just the moral of the story is, if you're going to fix the road, fix the road. Fix the road, okay? Uh, next story, right? Ah. Uh, that's a man's name. In the state of Meghalaya in northeast India. Gas bunch of lads, right? In the village of Kong Tong, and you remember Kong Tong because they made the breakthrough in the senior back in 05. <laughs> <laughs> back when they, uh, during the period when Benny Dunn transferred in, <laughs> he had fallen out with Tumi Vara, and they had a Taurus Lika painted in the blue and white, the traditional colors of Kong Tong. <laughs> Kong Tong for the county, as they used to say. <laughs> but in this town, instead of just having a normal name, like Tom or Jinxie, the lads have a tune. Did you hear that? Yeah. So when the mother wants to call you, she'd be singing, Ah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't think that'll work in Ireland. Imagine trying to call in the child for dinner and having to sing the Kerry Porker. <laughs> Come in for your dinner, right? Or get your sister to cash jig, right? <laughs> this is a fact, right? They, when you're born, they have a tune as a name. Whoa. The mother comes up with a tune from the heart, and that's your name for life. But I tell you, the pe- teacher must have some pain in his hole doing the roll call. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the world and let me off. Here. The wasp dying in the jam. Here. N17. Here. So, if we had this. I reckon I would name my son Kamauchi Black and Tans because his friends would be in some amount of scraps. <laughs> Imagine we're on the playground. Kamauchi Black and Tans, it's your turn and goal. <laughs> I think it'd be great crack. And I'd name his sister Fuck the Police <laughs> <laughs> after the 1988 hit by Mike Denver. <laughs> one of his better ones. Good, good beat to it. So the village, the village elders in this place in India are worried mm. that this tradition is going to die out. And they say the mobile phone is a big problem as it is some job trying to text <laughs> text a tune to someone. <laughs> as you can imagine, uh, naming a team at the match. <laughs> Who send her forward? <laughs> ah, ah. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> Good thing he's been marked by the rattling bog. Oh, so one man from the town He's gone to college and he says it's lovely because if he had a normal name like Mick, whatever, you could call him and loads of Mick's would look around. But when he's in college and someone does the tune, he knows it's just for him. The man is a walking ringtone, okay? And I actually, I have it here now. I got a, I, I got a new ringtone during the week. I must play it to you now. Um, I don't know. The, the grandson Padraig done it up for me. What this fucking thing. It's not often I take the phone with me when I'm going. Yeah, how come you talk to Belfast? Uh, Carmel insisted. <laughs> this is my new ringtone. <laughs> it's about a fella who can't get to bed. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's my ringtone. So when I hear that now in, in, in going off in mass or whatever, <laughs> I know it is me thereafter. And then he don't want for Dermot as well now. I'll get that up here now. <laughs> Good, isn't it? <laughs> so wait for, wait for now. No, that's that's the one for a text. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but he said it's handy because um, the not too many lads down the the men's shed <laughs> have the same ringtone as him. So that was just a nice little story in India where wow. you have a song for a name. Wow. Um, in local news, Susan Shine back in the news <laughs> last Monday morning. Susan was in the church, wiping down the pews. You know what a pew is? Yeah. <laughs> the bench you sit on in mass. Because I don't sit in mass. I, I stand down the back with the men. We stand. 
<laughs> men stand in mass. Okay? Real men stand. <laughs> and over the last year, I have actually started playing a game of 25 on the back of the statue of Padre Pio. <laughs> Apparently, you're not supposed to play cards in mass, but I can't fucking stand Father Joey. <laughs> He's trying to be trendy. Last week, I saw him down the town wearing jeans. <laughs> the priest. Bastard. And he's, <laughs> he's not entitled to wear what or whatever he What the fuck? Like. Priest wearing jeans. Next thing, we'll have a woman president. We, we did have a woman president too, in fact. Mary McAleese and Mary Robinson. I don't remember that. <laughs> when, was, when was that? Where were you for the 90s? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was flat out <laughs> It was a good bit of drink Taken in the 90s Anyway But see The, the mad that I play cards With down the back of mass Fiasco Ryan <laughs> <laughs> Our chase is pure disaster of Man fuck's sake You can't Like some people Can't help pissing on their shoes <laughs> <laughs> I swear he does it Intentionally Right He came in the last day And I was looking at him Going fiasco Is that a fucking dandelion On the edge of your mouth Like they went out of season Two months ago <laughs> Where'd you even get that? <laughs> and he has a lucky yellow shirt he wears to mass. And, I, and he says it's magic. And I said, how do you mean it's magic? And he said, but when I bought it, it was white. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. And the smell of shit off the man. <laughs> he lets the sheep into the house. And I, there's always a smell of wet dog off him. And Jesus, but he's the cheapest dentist in town. So you just... <laughs> So you just, you do what you have to do. But, oh, jeez. But the guest thing about Fiasco Orion, right? Real name, Kevin. <laughs> 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 I got into debate with him now at, at the halftime in the mass last year. He doesn't believe in China. <laughs> what do you mean? That's exactly what I said. What the fuck do you mean you don't believe in China? He said, it's made up. I said, who is it made up by? He said, I don't know. The Russians. And I got into a right row with him and the people around us are starting to look at us in mass now at this stage. And he said, have you ever been to China? Have you ever been to China? No. Have you ever seen China? Uh, yeah. With your own eyes? Oh, no. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you see it in the news. Yeah, yeah but was it, sure. was, it a rush, was it a reputable news station like myself? That'd be debatable, yeah. You Probably know what I mean? Not. How do you know China exists? He's after turning me. <laughs> <laughs> CNN are lying. No, okay. Maybe. Or they, they, oh, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so we have our game of carries down the back of mass. Uh, I'm currently up 200 euro. <laughs> 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 Which is why I play with that fucking rotten bastard. But <laughs> <laughs> so Susan Shine, the bee from Ard Lee, right? They call her the bumblebee because she goes around getting the, not, the gossip, right? She was in the church. And Susan, Susan Shine reckons she witnessed a miracle. She claims she saw the statue of St. Francis wink at her. Now, she thinks everyone is mad about her. <laughs> I'm surprised St. Francis didn't get down and ride the fucking chassis off her the way she did. <laughs> Big concrete rod in him, right? Jeez. She goes round all high and mighty. Give that woman a bottle of gym. She is as loose as a bag of carrots, right? <laughs> so the whole place is up in fuss. And they're wondering, will, you know, will tourists be coming down to visit the site? Will we be the next knock? Mm. Or Lourdes or Vegas, you know? <laughs> and apparently RT are coming down to interview the locals. Go away. Yeah. Do you know your man they call a microwave head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He did a computer course. Yeah. So yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he has sent an email to Pat Kenny. Pat pa Kenny? Yeah. Apparently he's going to come down and interview microwave head <laughs> live on the radio. And they were all at it as well. Do you know... um? She's always at fucking mass. Do you know the Black Widow? Yeah. <laughs> Helen Buckley. <laughs> she said, well, Maureen, she's at every funeral going. Yeah. And she's always calling around to old people when they're sick. And then she's at the funeral. And that's why they call her the Black Widow. Oh, God. Because if she comes to visit you in hospital, you know you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> that is the big news. RT, you're coming to town. Yeah, and I hope to have part two of the story next week. Cool, and will you be getting interviewed? Uh, it remains to be seen if an arrangement can, uh, if we can come to a settlement. How much are you trying to sting him for, money wise? I'm not going to give, show my hand. Okay, yeah. okay. I know yourself. I'll leave that with you. Good luck. Go on. 